Good afternoon, and welcome to the Ron and Joyce Skipper Stadium. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate commencement with the class of 2021. At this time, will everyone please stand as we welcome the class into the stadium and remain standing for our national anthem.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockies that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the Savior for that lovely rendition of the national anthem. Welcome everyone to Central's 2012 commencement ceremony. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Our loving Creator God, we come to you this afternoon to ask your favor on this special milestone of commencement in order to honor those whose study has reached an excellent level of accomplishment and achievement. Remind us at this time of your kindness. Renew us with your forgiveness. In this invocational prayer, we seek now to remember that you are the God who has been with us every step of the way. We admit that some steps along the journey were not so graceful. We are grateful to you when steps were filled with perseverance and accomplishment. For being our faithful friend during the journey, we give you thanks and praise. <clears throat> On behalf of graduates, we thank you for the family and loved ones who have supported us and who cheer us on. Thank you, Father, for faculty who pushed and challenged us to grow. We thank you also for coaches, friends, and staff who believed in, disciplined, and encouraged us. For each of these mentors, we give you praise. For all of us, loving God, we are mindful of the millions around your world who do not have the opportunity for education. We are mindful of those who are hurting or hungry. Might we always work for the welfare of others and use our education to serve others. Teach us to love you, O God, and teach us to love others as we love ourselves. Thank you now, O oh God, for the celebration of this commencement ceremony. Help us to embrace this moment with joy and a sense that a bright tomorrow awaits us. Finally, bless, O oh Lord, all schools, colleges, and universities, especially Central College, that they may be lively centers for sound learning new discovery, 
and the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Welcome to Central College and this very special commencement ceremony honoring our class of 2021. This group of scholars has made a lasting impression on me in their time here. It's been a privilege to get to know so many of you over the past four years. You have accomplished so much, and the accomplishments have been even more noteworthy and impressive over the past one and a half years in these unprecedented times. The coronavirus significantly changed your junior and senior years at Central. Across the country, the pandemic has altered more class time for more students than almost any other event in U.S. history. You are among only four classes in Central's history that have ever received a portion of Central education off campus. The other three are the class before you and the two classes behind you. In doing this work, you demonstrated heroic flexibility, discipline, dedication, resilience, responsibility, and endurance in addition to a large dose of technical intelligence. You did it. And today comes the recognition for your reward. May it be all the sweeter, for it is very well deserved. We are grateful you are here today to participate in this milestone, seeing you call to a future where resilience and adaptation will be more important than ever. Despite the tests and tribulations of the past 18 months, Central's class of 2021 has many more reasons for distinction than having finished your education during a pandemic. Your class has 256 graduates from 17 states who have completed 29,091 credits at Central. 42 of you graduate with double majors, two of you are triple majors. As for minors, 93 of you have one minor, 14 have two, and one has three. Continuing our great legacy family tradition at Central College, 29 members of this class are children of alumni. The class of 2021 also includes one set of siblings, Joseph and Sarah Roberts, and one married couple, Anna Berg Zecker and Noah Pearson Zecker. Class of 2021, 76 of you have had the opportunity to study abroad before the pandemic, and three of you studied abroad twice. Over the past four years, 144 of you participated in service learning. 57 participated in music ensembles, in lessons, or theater productions, and 83 engaged in internships, mock trial, or research with a faculty member. Well done. In spite of three semesters of altered and abbreviated athletic schedules, more than 50% of you competed in at least one season in an intercollegiate sport. During your time at Central, members of the senior class have earned All-American distinction three times and have received all-conference honors 29 times. You have helped the Dutch win five conference team championships and been among Central's teams or individuals competing in NCAA championships seven times. Finishing tied for ninth in Division Three in men's outdoor track and field in 2018. The honors are still rolling in. Three members of this class have chosen to serve our country through military service. Thank you to Cosette Clendenin, 
Jonathan Massiello, and Logan Price for your service. Seniors, many of you have undertaken research projects tackling important questions of today. Among your ranks is Caitlin Wang, a Goldwater Scholar recognized in a prestigious national competition for outstanding achievements in the fields of mathematics, science, and engineering. Your class also boasts Elizabeth Sheldon, a Udall Scholarship winner. This prestigious award honors students who have demonstrated a commitment to pursuing careers related to the environment, leadership and public service, and issues related to Native American nations. Throughout your time at Central, you have witnessed the transformation of Doustra Auditorium, the P.H. Kuyper Gymnasium Building, and the renovation of the Peace Mall. You are the first graduating class to have benefited from college's transparent tuition pricing. You have helped raise awareness about diversity, equity, and inclusion at the college. You supported campus initiatives, raised money, volunteered both on campus and off, and were active in numerous organizations. And you've done a great deal of this with masks on while maintaining six foot physical distance. You are also leaving something behind. You voted to purchase outdoor furniture for the Peace Mall near the pond as your senior class gift. Your generosity will create a space filled with seating to future students the chance to stop by at the pond to relax, reflect, and connect. Class of 2021, will you please stand? On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, thank you for all you've contributed to Central College during your time here. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated. Central is fortunate to have an incredibly talented and dedicated faculty. They are devoted to our students and to their interdisciplinary experiences across the campus. They are committed to experiential learning, to innovation and creativity across all our academic disciplines, to academic rigor and to an environment that challenges. We celebrate all that they have done to stimulate a liberal arts education that is rich and distinctive. For the past three semesters, faculty went to extraordinary lengths to ensure our students' education continued through remote learning in the spring of 2020 and through frequent disruptions in the past two semesters as we adjusted to the learning needs to keep students in class and in person as much as possible while also offering remote learning for those students who needed to be in isolation and quarantine. Our faculty rapidly pivoted in response to changing needs and have gone and above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that all students receive their instruction and mentoring. In addition, Central's faculty still managed to rack up a year of outstanding achievement. Faculty, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. We will recognize you as a group once all of you have been introduced, please hold your applause. The Moore Family Faculty Award recognizes and fosters joint faculty-student summer collaborations that promote a greater depth of student understanding within the natural science division disciplines than would normally occur through regular coursework. This year's recipient is Paulina Mena, Associate Professor of Biology. The Marvin L. Hackert Faculty Development Fund for Science and Mathematics enhances the quality of the sciences at Central College through activities that promote professional development and research. This year's recipient is James Shriver, Professor of Chemistry. The new Franks Mahmood Fund for Undergraduate Research supports teams of faculty and students and their research at international or domestic sites. Experiences such as these go beyond the traditional summer undergraduate research opportunities 
and provide rich and meaningful professional development opportunities for faculty and students. The 2020 faculty recipient of this award was Sarah Sugarfox, Associate Professor of Exercise Science. The 2021 recipient is Jay Wackerly, Associate Professor of Chemistry. The Frank W. Moore Family Faculty Award acknowledges faculty who have promoted student learning within the Natural Sciences Division through teaching and or service over time. This year's recipient is Katherine Haustain, Professor of Chemistry. The Huffman Award for outstanding support of international education recognizes the extraordinary contributions made by Donald and Maxine Huffman to the central programs in international education, including cross-cultural areas and foreign language courses, with particular emphasis on study abroad. This year's recipient is Allison Krogstad, Professor of Spanish. The Hutch Burse Community Building and Faculty Leadership Award recognizes members of the faculty for their efforts over a sustained period in the category of community building and either mentorship or leadership. This year's recipient is Jonathan Witt, Professor of Sociology. The David Crichton Memorial Teaching Award recognizes outstanding teaching at Central that perpetuates the type of instruction that challenges and shapes the intellectual development of students. This year's recipient is Kathleen Korczak, Professor of Spanish. The Dr. John Westlink Award recognizes faculty achievement in scholarship having direct impact on classroom teaching. Nominations for the award specifically identify the faculty member's scholarly achievements in relation to advancement courses, programs, majors, and student participation in research. This year's recipient is Joshua Dolezal, Professor of English. This year, we celebrate the contributions of two faculty members who have served the college for 25 years. Professor of Religion, Terence Clavin, and Professor of Theater, Mary Jo Saad, we thank you both for your dedication to your students and your disciplines. Additionally, we celebrate the contributions of Dennis Doyle, Professor of Communication Studies, who is retiring from Central as Professor Emeritus after 32 years of service. Dennis, you will be greatly missed. Congratulations to all of you. I have another special announcement this afternoon regarding one of our outstanding faculty members. Distinguished professorships and endowed faculty chairs recognize distinctive faculty accomplishment and contribute to our academic community and provide support for teaching, research, and scholarship. All faculty members who hold a distinguished professorship or endowed chair are superb teachers. We appreciate their work and recognize it at the annual chairs conference celebrating faculty scholarship and research. I'm delighted that prof excuse me, Professor Emeritus Dave Timmer is with us today. Uh, Dave is our most recent holder of the Snucker Sessler Chair in Philosophy and Religion. We didn't have an occasion to recognize the completion of his service in the chair, so I ask you to join me now in thanking Dave for his service to the college. And now I am pleased to announce Terence Clavin, Professor of Religion, is now awarded the Dr. Jacob and Gala Schnucker Sessler Chair in philosophy and religion. Terry, will you please stand? Terry earned his bachelor's degree in religious studies from the University of Calgary in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He completed his master's degree and PhD at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. He served two postdoctoral fellowships, one at Boston College and Harvard University, and one at Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Terry has been a central faculty member since 1996. 
He was promoted to associate professor in 2001 and professor in 2006. Terry is a past recipient of international, national, and regional awards, fellowships, and grants, including those from the Lilly Foundation, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and more than two dozen others. The Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement Teach of Teaching presented him with the Iowa Professor of the Year Award in 2001. Most recently, Terry was awarded a Fulbright Scholarship to conduct research in Arabic political philosophy at the University of Jordan in Amman, Jordan. He is currently preparing to bring this work soon. His service and leadership to the college include his years of service as Humanities Division Chair and Department Chair, as faculty representative to the Board of Trustees, and service on many central councils, committees, and task forces. He has taught 28 different courses in religion, history, philosophy, and languages at Central. One of them, Old Testament history and religion, he has taught more than 35 times. And speaking of languages, he knows 12 of them, both classical and modern. He has been editor, reviewer, or council member for five academic societies and has published more than 40 peer-reviewed articles or book reviews, presented well over 60 presentations at conferences and invited university lectures, and attended many dozens of professional conferences. These attest to his dedication and his disciplines and to his determination to continually bring fresh scholarship to his courses and students. He also is a part-time priest at St. James Episcopal Church in Oskaloosa. Terry is a loyal hockey fan or fanatic, depending on who you ask, and also is a certified USA hockey coach. We officially install Terry as the third Dr. Jacob and Gala Schnucker Sessler Chair in Philosophy and Religion. In doing so, we recognize his many accomplishments and his gifts of knowledge and leadership to the central community. Terry Clavin is a teacher's teacher and a scholar's scholar. We are much enriched by his dedication to students and faculty and his commitment to teaching and advancing the mission of Central College. Congratulations. Throughout the challenges of the past year, our faculty have continued to publish, contribute to research, complete countless projects, and court additional funding. You've presented work in galleries, concert halls, exhibitions, publications, and conferences, oftentimes virtually. You've judged competitions, given presentations, chaired committees, conferences, meetings, and events, and you've been invited, elected, and appointed to lead and speak for various professional organizations, boards, task forces, and government agencies. You've been honored with awards, degrees, certifications, commendations, and fellowships. You've worked diligently on your own professional development and mentored your colleagues on campus and across the nation. We see your deep commitment throughout our campus community. Our graduates feel your richest impacts as they live out their dreams and walk through many open doors over their lifetimes. Will the Central College faculty please rise? It's been a privilege to work with each of you during this year. Thank you for your contributions to Central. Because of you, Central College wins national accolades every year. Thanks to your dedication over the past four years, Central has been named one of the best national liberal arts colleges by U.S. News and World Report, one of the best colleges for kinesiology and physical therapy in America, best Christian colleges in America, best colleges for education in America, and best value college in Iowa by niche.com. And you have reason to be particularly, particularly proud of this one, in 2019, Central was named one of the top 20 liberal arts colleges in the country for close student-professor relationships by bestliberalartscolleges.com. 
Please accept our sincere gratitude for the great work you do every day. Thank you. Now I call upon Mary E.M. Strive, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, to present our graduation speaker and candidate for an honorary degree. President Putnam, today we welcome Shannon L. Mariachi to campus. Shannon is a Cedar Rapids, Iowa native who graduated from Central in 1990 after having studied political science and Spanish. She's a professor of political science and international studies at Allegheny College in Meadville, Pennsylvania. She teaches and has done extensive research on Latin American, Native American peoples, social movements, criminal violence in Mexico, and migration. Shannon served as the chair of the International Studies Program at Allegheny from 2005 to 2013 and of the Political Science Department from 2014 to 2018. In 2019, she was a Fulbright Scholar in Santiago, Chile. In addition, she is the recipient of a Harry Guggenheim Foundation Award for research on ethnic violence. In 2019, she also received the Gillian Ross Award for excellence in teaching at Allegheny College. Shannon developed a keen interest in Mexican politics and culture as a mentee of Central's professor of political science, Roderick Camp. Her interest was deepened during a trimester spent in Merida. Over the course of her career, she has published several books and many academic journal articles on Mexican politics and has maintained a close connection to Merida. She's also an avid tennis player. Her love of tennis was cultivated at Central by professor and coach Jim Graham, and she continues to play regularly. As a student, Shannon was a three-time COSIDA Academic All-American selection for her skills on the court. In addition, she was chosen for the first ever USA Today All-USA College Academic Team, which features the nation's top undergraduate students. President Putnam, I present to you Shannon L. Mariachi, candidate for the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Shannon L. Mariachi, we are honored to celebrate you as an exemplar of the applied liberal arts to the challenges of a changing world. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Central College Board of Trustees, I am honored to confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, and entitlement to all its rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities. In recognition of this honor, I present you with this diploma as Sonny Amy, Vice President for Advancement, and Mary Stry, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, vest you with this hood. Congratulations. Thank you, President Putnam, for inviting me to address the class of 2021 and all those present here on this very special occasion. Thank you to President Putnam's executive assistant, Karma Sturtz, for arranging every detail of my trip and the logistics of bringing my family here today. After the ceremony, I hope to persuade karma to become my life coach. Let, my, let me add my voice and congratulations to the members of the graduating class on their many accomplishments. 
It is a great honor for me as a central alumna to be back in Pella to celebrate with you. My sister Maria and brother-in-law David Hauser are central graduates, class of 1997, and over the years I've stayed in close touch with so many members of the community. Every time we're back at Central, my husband comments on the spirit of community and friendliness and wonders how far in square miles it reaches outside Pella. That warm glow follows us to our home in Pennsylvania, but quickly dissipates outside the Midwest. Today, I'd like to speak about something very close to the heart of a political scientist and a Central College graduate, the connection between liberal arts colleges and democracy. We have abundant reasons to be grateful that we live in a democracy, despite its many imperfections and challenges. Central College is part of a great and exceptional U.S. tradition of residential liberal arts colleges. 168 years ago, the founders of this college believed that educating young people in the liberal arts contributed to the health of our democracy. They had confidence that liberty and democracy would flourish when citizens thought for themselves, used reason to solve problems, and developed the knowledge and skills to contribute productively to the common good. Class of 2021, as graduates of Central College, you are the heirs to the ideals of our founders. In this brief time I have with you today, I want to suggest that our democracy can only remain strong if we are committed to it actively. I hope to persuade you that the deep gratitude for the democracy that we live in and the, for the education that we received here go hand in hand. Americans tend to exaggerate our exceptionality as a country, but one way we are truly exceptional is the model of the liberal arts college, like Central. There aren't very many liberal arts colleges outside the US, and the ones that exist were often founded by expats or missionaries. About 800 of the some 3,500 colleges and universities in our country are independent, residential, and liberal arts. In the few minutes I have today, I'd like to say some words about the important role that we all play in the continued health and strength of our democracy. At Central College, this girl from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, became an internationalist. I spent a semester at two of our study abroad programs, one in London and one in Merida, Mexico. Those programs and my education here planted the seeds for my future training as a political scientist. Many of you have become internationalists through study abroad programs and keen observation of our world's growing interconnectedness. Internationalists today are deeply concerned about the erosion of democracy around the world. Open, rights-based societies are being severely questioned by national populists. Political scientists write books about the decline of liberties in established democracies and lay out scenarios for how democracies die. Francis Fukuyama's prediction in 1989 that we were at the end of history with the triumph of Western democracy did not stand the test of time. To survive and to thrive, democracies need care and cultivation. The rule of law, checks and balances, and the values of tolerance and civility that form the backbone of liberal democracy cannot thrive in the absence of civic support and participation. 
Today, even established democracies bend under the pressure of misinformation that erodes public confidence and trust in our institutions and leaders. Social media can be used to divide us. Many people feel that political parties no longer represent the people. The challenges ahead for democracies everywhere, even long-standing ones like ours, are formidable. As a student at Central College in Merida, Mexico, in the spring of 1988, I had a first-hand experience with authoritarianism and non-democracy. During much of the 20th century, Mexico lived under the rule of a single political party. Living in a non-democracy shapes life chances in ways big and small. Access to justice is limited, crimes go unpunished, citizens become distrustful of their leaders and neighbors, and many become resigned and withdraw from political and civic life. Living in a democracy like that of the US, as incomplete and imperfect as it is, has enhanced and increased all of our life chances. It has molded and shaped our attitudes about what is possible in life. It has increased our prosperity and ability to flourish. When I hear current day populists like the president of Mexico tell me that he has, quote, other data and that we cannot trust science and facts, I become deeply concerned about the future of democracy in a country that I love. I became interested in Mexico and in Latin America while here at Central College. Being a Latin Americanist has taught me that democracies can come and they can go. Many of you also studied abroad while at Central. The college pioneered semester-long study abroad in the 1960s and 70s under the leadership of Dean Jim Graham. By the 1980s, Jim had become the women's tennis coach, in addition, of course, to his duties as professor of English, and was my coach on our varsity team. He was good at so many things, but driving was not one of them. We prohibited him from taking the wheel of our college van after some near accidents en route to matches. He always preferred talking to watching the road. You might not know that Jim Graham pioneered the first zip car in America decades ago when he routinely left the keys in the ignition of his dented up gremlin in the ignition, just in case anyone in the know needed the car while on campus. My husband and I have had some memorable experiences with Jim on roads outside Sierra Vista, Arizona, where he is retired with his wife and emerita professor, Martha Bentoncourt. The residential liberal arts experience allows students to make the type of connections that I made with Jim and Martha. Because our colleges are residential, students don't go home after class ends. Graduates, as you're sitting here, I hope that memories of the relationships you forged and the many activities you engaged in come to mind. As you joined one of the many college interest groups or student government, sang in one of the choirs, played team sports, took on a role in a theatrical performance, or did volunteer work in the community, you knew you were learning some life lessons and growing as a person. But you might not have fully appreciated that you were also learning how to be a good citizen. Liberal arts colleges have always been experiments in civic culture. During your time here, you were learning how to get along with others, 
practicing tolerance and patience, learning to compromise with and respect others even when you disagreed with them. In your work in and outside of the classroom, you were learning to cultivate empathy. Not just empathy for those who believe as you do, but even more vitally for those who do not. One of the key elements that holds liberal arts college communities together like Central is a commitment to reasoned debate and argument. That's the liberal in liberal arts. A college education helps us resist making facile arguments that reduce complex problems to black and white caricatures. Working together, making connections, being part of collective life and community is complex and it's messy. Democracy as the premier collective experiment of modern times is also complicated and it's not for the faint of heart. Central College has played the long game in cultivating values that support democracy even as our ideas about democracy have changed over the years since our founding. Our notions of what it means to be democratic are ever evolving. As students at Central, so many of you have worked to keep our democracy strong as you've registered voters, canvassed for political campaigns, participated in civil resistance, and joined the political clubs on campus. You've invited speakers and organized programs. There is so much that all of us can do each and every one of us to strengthen our democracy, ensuring its survival for future generations. As time goes on, some of you will find purpose in being part of the institutional fabric that makes democracy work, becoming judges in our impartial judiciary government, as business leaders, engaging transparently in the political process as honest brokers, making policy recommendations to our elected leaders, being on city councils and attending public meetings. Some of you will keep our democracy strong by participating in civic work, being members of a local public library board, or serving on the board of directors for a nonprofit organization maybe even Central College. If we are to maintain a robust democracy in the United States, improvement of our civic culture and our institutions must go hand in hand. Finally, I'd like to the turn to the topic of gratitude. Graduates, you and I received a state-of-the-art residential liberal arts education here at Central College. We are also residents in a constitutional democracy. Gratitude is the natural response to both of those gifts. So many sacrifices have been made by our fellow citizens to perfect this democracy of ours, which has always been a work in progress. I'm thinking of the suffragettes who organized collectively to demand the right to vote over 100 years ago, of the Central College graduates who fought and died during the Civil War to free the country of slavery, of African Americans who believed in the power of electoral democracy even as the promises of our Constitution did not extend to them. I'm thinking about recent protests against police violence and unfair incarceration. I'm thinking about the strong defense of free speech and civil liberties that are the hallmark of US protest movements. We have a long history in our country of liberal resistance to oppression of all sorts, whether it comes from private citizens or from the government. We are all part of a collective effort 
to become a more perfect union. Our failure to live up to our promise as a nation shouldn't discredit our values and ideals. It just means we have to work harder. When we look around the world today and see so much oppression and suffering, as well as so much good and profound beauty, it seems natural that we would feel gratitude, a sense of thankfulness for all that we have been given and have inherited. The poet David White has proposed a somewhat different spin on the attitude and idea of gratitude. In his view, gratitude is a state of attention. For White, gratitude is about making connections, understanding, quote, that many millions of things come together and live together and mesh together and breathe together in order for us to take even one more breath of air. This notion of gratitude is a bit different from the appreciation we show after something good happens or after we have been given something precious. In White's view, gratitude is a state of paying attention, of giving yourselves and others the time to simply take it all in. Living through the COVID-19 pandemic this last year has certainly underscored our dependence on others. I happen to believe with all of my heart that having a college education means that you can and you do pay attention to this big, complex, broken, and beautiful world that we live in. Having a college education has allowed you to cultivate curiosity about yourself and the world around you. To be, as White says, awake in the presence of everything that lives within us and without us. When we know and learn more, we cannot help but feel humbled. A college education is a lesson that taking nothing for granted and learning that nothing is certain. I sincerely hope that this is one important lesson that you took from your time at Central. I have deep and abiding reasons to be grateful to Central College. I learned how to think here. Not what to think, but how to think. The college set me on a path to be a professional academic. Professor Robert Camp and the college's study abroad program in Yucatan sparked my love for the study of Mexican politics that enriches and informs so much of my life every single day. Central's professors, a few of those sitting among you today, like Jim Zafiro and Cynthia Mahmood, Professors David Timmer, Keith Ratzlaff, and Treva Reimer, shaped the way I see and act in the world. In the face of what this college has meant in my life, I stand before you rather awestruck. I simply cannot believe my good fortune. And to think that donors made possible so much of my education here in a difficult moment in my family's history practically brings me to my in gratitude. So my challenge to you is this, class of 2021. Don't underestimate others' ability to deal with complexity. And don't be scared by complexity yourselves. Embrace it. Be grateful. Pay attention to the world inside you and the world outside you. As you leave here and in the coming years, Central College, our democracy, this world needs your attention. They need your skills, 
and your dedication. They need your hope and your enthusiasm. To whom much has been given, much is to be expected. You know that adage. And you're ready. You've got a central college education and some of that Pella spirit of friendliness and community to accompany you. I wish you all the very best of life's blessings on the journey ahead. Congratulations. Thank you, Shannon, for sharing this thoughtful guidance on liberal arts colleges and American democracy. Your body of work as a political scientist is impressive and significant. You have distinguished yourself as a scholar of the times, shining a light on, among other things, politics in Mexico and indigenous resistance to criminal governance. Your scholarly knowledge and research are a great service to society and highlight relevant issues related to electoral democracy, drug-related violence, poverty, and human rights. Your efforts have focused on a critical understanding of Mexico's economy and political relationship with the United States. You are indeed a distinguished professor, educator, and researcher. Thank you again. As we prepare to present the degree candidates, we wish to thank all parents, grandparents, siblings, and family members of all our graduates. We thank you for all the years of support, encouragement, mentoring, successes, laughs, failures, tears, time, energy, development, and love you've given to our graduating seniors. This year more than any other, for reasons we all understand. Graduates, would you please express your thanks and appreciation to your families. Thank you for the important roles you have played in the lives of our graduates. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts and the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering, please rise. That's you. President Putnam, on recommendation of the faculty of Central College and approved by the Board of Trustees, I present to you these candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts and the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Having fulfilled all the academic requirements, they are worthy of and entitled to these degrees. Graduates, having completed all requirements of the college by the authority vested in me as president of Central College, I confer upon you this 15th day of May in the year of our Lord 2021, the degree Bachelor of Arts and the degree Bachelor of Science and Engineering. You have earned and are entitled to all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities th these degrees confer. Congratulations. I now present the class of 2021. Please hold your applause until all graduates have crossed the stage. President Putnam will pose with each graduate as they cross. Families, please remain seated during the presentation. There will be an opportunity to purchase the photo of your graduate with President Putnam in the near future. Thank you, as this allows us to follow physical distancing for the health of all of us. Jaden Alexis Ackerson, summa cum laude. Savannah Marie Allen. Isaiah Arana. Timothy Cole Osberger in absentia. Gavin Lee Babcock. Zachary Kendall Bailey, summa cum laude. 
Jenna Ann Bacaris in absentia. Colin Lewis Baldwin. Katie Marie Banowitz. Tate Elizabeth Barnes. Devin Ray Batterson, cum laude. Sarah Nicole Behrens. Andrew James Benhart. Connor J. Blair. Blakely, cum laude. James Richard Boatwright, magna cum laude. Olivia Joy Boonder, summa cum laude. Casey Lee Boss. David Lawrence Boschma. Ellen Rose Brennan. Erica Madeline Bruning, cum laude. Xavier Alexander Bryant. Kirsten Karen Ann Buniak. Macy Renee Burgess. Sarah Elizabeth Casterline, magna cum laude. Joshua Thomas Cheek, magna cum laude. Emma Amelia Chervik, magna cum laude. Catherine R. Christofferson. Aspen K. Clark, magna cum laude. Cosette E. Clendenin, magna cum laude. Emma Victoria Claudfelter, magna cum laude. Joel David Colette. Riley Ann Conway, summa cum laude. Trevor Dean Cormany in absentia. Bryce Douglas Kraft. Samantha Joe Craig, summa cum laude. Wyatt Michael Crosby. Mason Oliver Cross. Casey Crum. Christopher James Cruz. Spencer Lane Davidson. Alexia Page Young. Yeah. 
Jenna Kirsten Decker, summa cum laude. Kelsey Ann DeHai. Angel Del Rio. Kyle Matthew Dell, summa cum laude. William Diaz, Jr. Matthew James Dickinson, magna cum laude. Patrick James Deemer. John Charles Dillon, cum laude. David Lynn Disney. Kara Lexi Dixon, cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Edens. Spencer Andrew Albert. Alexis Mackenzie Engen. Michael Anthony Escobedo, Jr. Henry Luke Fair. Mary Kay Faulkner, cum laude. Grace Catherine Fellhofer. Darianne Marie Fergus. Caleb Garrett Finnegan, cum laude. Justin Joseph Fisher in absentia. Kaylee Joan Fight. Adam Montgomery Flynn. Allie Christine Fuff. Jacob Harold Ford. Grace Francis Ford. Holly Marie Forrester, magna cum laude in absentia. Macy Joy Fritz, cum laude. Lindsay Christine Gasper, cum laude. Olivia Rose Gerstein Boat. Brandy Renee Gilbert, cum laude. Jackson Tyler Gissel. <laughs> Bryce Nicole Gittleson. Carl Matthew Charles Glockel, cum laude. Taylor Catherine Golt. Jennifer L. Grandia. Mary Catherine Gray, cum laude in absentia. Noah Michael Gorvik.
Noel L. Guterjohn. Jack Harrison Gunnick. Dane Ford Gustafson. Elizabeth Lynn Hammond, magna cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Hanley, magna cum laude. Emily Ann Hansen, cum laude. Marin Elizabeth Harrington, summa cum laude. Kyle Dean Hauser, magna cum laude. Blaine Patrick Hawkins, cum laude. Emily Ann Hay, cum laude. Jillian Lee Hennessy. Christopher, Christopher Michael Hensley, cum laude. Nathan Daniel Herbers, summa cum laude. Anthony Wayne Harriet. Ashley Grace Hubner, magna cum laude. Emily Caitlin Holden in absentia. Caitlin Marie Holt. John Sterling Horner. Danae A. Howes. Madeline Claire Hux, cum laude. Casey James Huffman. Katie Nicole Huey. Logan John Hinker, cum laude. Matthew John Huseman, magna cum laude. Cade Joshua Humphreys. Catherine Otelia Hurlbut. Georgia Ray Illa. Summa cum laude. William Lloyd Eisminger, magna cum laude. Zachary Michael Jansen. Kirkland Matthew Jenkin. Jack Thomas Germano, cum laude. Cooper James Johnson. Ethan Sane Johnson. Tanner Gray Johnson in absentia. Ryan Michael Jones in absentia. Finn Cheney Jordan. Oh. 
Molly Ann Keller. Allie Loreen Kinsey, magna cum laude. Eric Robert Kanak. Sean Michael Kostick. Dylan J. Kramer. Delena Kathleen Crone, magna cum laude. Samuel David Kruger. Courtney Marie Krutoff, magna cum laude. James Alexander Lamgo. Magdalene Ann Langenfeld, magna cum laude. Sarari Ledesma Ruiz. Andrea Marjorie Leeper, magna cum laude. Colin Stephen Lefebvre. John Harold Linforth. Anna L. Long, cum laude. Jerry Louts in Abstentia. Kayanne Renee Laux, cum laude. Brianna Nicole Lyons, magna cum laude. Trevor Jerry Mabius. Hunter Andrew Maddie. <laughs> Daniel George Martinson, magna cum laude. Jonathan Anthony Masilio in absentia. Kennedy Marine Mason, cum laude. Caden Nelson Mock. Nicole Marie May in absentia. Joshua Aaron Mayhew. Griffin Dean McBride, magna cum laude. Mitchell Henry McCumber. Connor P. McAmeal. Skylar Ann McKay. Kaylee Marie Meyer, magna cum laude. Holden Minko Miller. Caitlin Ann Mitchell, cum laude. Lauren Ray Mize.
Boyd Mock, summa cum laude. Kennedy May Morris in absentia. Tristan Lee Murphy, summa cum laude. Kylie Renee Nave. Megan Christine Nemechek, cum laude. Danielle Mackenzie New, cum laude. Timber Cheyenne Newman. Trenton Anthony Niemeyer. Malcolm A. O'Brien, cum laude. Tyler John Obermeyer. Zachariah Scott Osborne. Chase Ray Palm. Daria Elaine Parcher. Kinsey Elizabeth Parrott, cum laude. Grace Lillian Patrick West. Andrew Cole Patterson, cum laude. Marina Elise Paul, summa cum laude. Joseph Andrew Pepe. Matthio Paul Pangmany. Kirsten Beth Pingle, magna cum laude in absentia. Bradley Robert Pragun in absentia. Logan John Price. Logan is an Army specialist who was deployed in February with the 3654th Support Maintenance Company of the Iowa National Guard. His cousin, David Disney, is accepting on his behalf. Cynthia Kristen Rangel. Sydney Lee Rance, magna cum laude. Abigail Elizabeth Reinhardt, magna cum laude. Jared D. Wren. Allison Page Reno. Ryan Joseph Riddle. Alan James Ritchie. Gavin Charles Ritchie. Joseph David Roberts, cum laude. Sarah Roberts.
Paige Janelle Ralk. Peyton Dane Rogers. Ayana Marie Rouse. Jonathan Paul Rosebohm, cum laude. Hunter Odin Ruth. Kaylin Sales, magna cum laude. Sophia Dolores Sanchez. Nathan Matthew Sanders, magna cum laude in absentia. Griffin Edward Sargent. Carly Beth Schilling, summa cum laude. Tanner Michael Schminke. Cheyenne Marie Scholl, magna cum laude. Nathan Glenn Schwanke. Lila Faith Sabetka. Kurt Lewis Cernet, summa cum laude. Jordan Everett Sheldahl. Elizabeth Marie Sheldon, cum laude. Zachary Cole Showers, summa cum laude. Erica Lynn Shoemaker, cum laude. Taylin Page Signs. Karsten Ragov Singh. Jacob Marco Sanoe, cum laude. Andrew Nolan Smith, magna cum laude. Chelsea Louise Smith, cum laude. Jensen Sue Smith. Peyton K. Smith. Sarah Smith in absentia. Thomas Jordan Snyder. Ethan Daniel St. John. Brett Lewis Staten. Tyler James Stewart. Eric Michael Stokes. Morgan Ann Stockman. Jillian Strite in absentia.
Matthew C. Stry. Nicholas Joseph Streisick. Jake Michael Suggett. Camden Emil Sundberg, cum laude. Destiny Jordan Swallum. Tanner Kirk Teagarden. Rhett Thompson. Ella Rose Toulon. Zachary Tyler Townsend. Hannah Breton Tripp, magna cum laude. Allison Ray Troutman. Madeline Rose Ulrich. Kerrigan Danielle Upton, cum laude. Megan Amelia Van Brocklin, magna cum laude. Morgan L. Van Monen, magna cum laude. Sean Eric Van de Keith, cum laude. Addison Lynn Van de Paul. Jacob Dean Van de Paul. Cooper Anthony Vidato. Travis Wagner. Caitlin Rose Wang, summa cum laude. Maya Sophia Irene Wegman, cum laude. Jacob Christian Wegner, magna cum laude. Marcus Samuel Winzel. Miles Jeffrey Wickhart, in absentia. Kathleen Tracy Vyachowski. Alexandra Renee Wilhite. Wayne D. Woolridge III in absentia. Jordan Alexander Wilson in absentia. William Storm Wiseman. Cody James Wonderlick. Allison Marie Woods. Andrew Thomas Wright. Jeffrey Alexander Hermule Wright. Jeffrey Alexander Hermel Wright. Kyle William Wright, cum laude. Cassidy Lynn Yeager, magna cum laude. Yeager. 
Anna Ruth Zecker. Noah Kelly Zecker. Graduates, will you please turn your tassel over to the left side of your caps. Congratulations to the Central College, Class of 2021. Congratulations, Central College class of 2021. You did it. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. It is now my honor to officially welcome you to the Central College alumni family, our newest alumni. Today we continue a wonderful tradition. To help me with this honor, I invite your class dean, Leslie Dunnick, also an alumna of Central, and classmate Jan Rouse to the stage. Graduates, you likely are wearing your alumni pin given to you before the ceremony. As you leave campus to make a difference in this world, please wear your pin with pride wherever you go. As part of our enduring tradition, whenever you meet other Central alumni, if you should find them without a pin, give them yours. And for your generosity, we will replace yours. As your pins are shared, let them signify the power of the Central College network that reaches far across the globe. And it lasts a lifetime. Because good news, you are forever Dutch. Alumni, please stand. While Leslie pins your classmate and student body president, Jana, I invite you to take a moment to place your hand near your heart. Over the course of your central experience, you have demonstrated fierce academic and extracurricular achievements. You also have demonstrated you are hardwired to care. As you move forward in life, let this pin be a physical display of the outward pride and commitment Central has for you and your heart for others. Fellow graduates and our newest alumni, please return home to campus often and let us know how you are doing life. Welcome to the family. You may be seated. Graduates and new alumni, I congratulate you on completing a bachelor's degree from Central College. This is a moment of great pride for all of us. Class of 2021, your graduation today is of historic significance. You have made a lasting impact on this campus and on the Central College family. Now more than ever, your talents, goals, plans, and visions of the future will help shape our local, regional, national, and global communities in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. Along your life paths, reflect on your time at Central College. Remember those here who believe in you and the friends you made here who support you. Recall the alumni and donors who helped make your education possible. They now welcome you with open arms and want to continue to help you reach your greatest success. You are surrounded worldwide by people who care about you. At Central, you have been challenged to be your best. We've expected much from you because we know there is no end to what you can accomplish. A liberal arts education at Central has set a high bar and you've pushed yourself to achieve lofty goals under circumstances that have been complicated, to say the least. Now go forth and make a difference in the world. Share your heart for others. Continue to seek new experiences. May you flourish in your new endeavors, thanks to the mind-opening, skill-building experiences you've had here. Wherever you go, 
Central's network of caring relationships will guide and support you. Make the most of this brilliant liberal arts education you've earned. Share with us your progress so that we can celebrate with you. And so I can remember and share this moment, I want to take an Instagram picture of all of you. So smile and say Dutch. Now this is a panoramic, so hold still. Thank you. Go and do great things. Go Dutch. I invite the Reverend Dr. Terence Claven to close with our benediction, which will be followed by a recording of our chamber singers sharing their choral benediction, The Lord Bless You. Please rise and remain standing until the recessional of the class of 2021 and the faculty has concluded. Following the recessional, everyone, please wear a mask when moving around in the stadium and follow physical distancing guidelines. I thank you all for joining us on this great day of joy and celebration. Stay healthy, be well, and keep in touch. Let us pray. God of creation, we thank you for Central College and for the opportunity it provided to forge new friendships, to build community, to learn, and to serve. We are thankful for our parents who laid a strong foundation and to the people of Central College who have built up on that foundation helping the class of 2021 to grow into wise, mature, strong people, prepared to shape the world with justice, righteousness, and kindness. Bless this class of 2021, O Lord. Give our graduates eyes that they may see the brokenness, pain, and hurt that surrounds us. Give them a heart of empathy and give them a spirit of boldness to be, pardon me, to boldness to be the agents of change you have called them to be. Members of the class of 2021, as you move throughout the world as responsible citizens, children of God and catalysts of good, may the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.